guys, welcome back to my City Skylines Let's Play. I believe this is episode number 12, and according to my checklist, uh, I had plans to build a custom high-density residential area complex with parking, uh, as it says in the notes, a passenger station, and it originally told me, or I had originally told myself that I wanted to do a small uh, passenger train station, but I just elected to go with the larger one. And then I also had to figure out what was wrong with my freight station. It turns out there was nothing wrong with my freight station. Um, it was just a little slow on the uptake. I do have a mod that kind of uh, consolidates... Ooh, frames. Mm. Computer's running a little slow. I got too much stuff going on, I think. Um, uh, originally, it had said that... Or, sorry, not originally. It uh, I do have a mod installed that uh, condenses uh, all the freight traffic and reduces how many trucks are on the road so you're not sending out like half filled trucks and you know fraction filled trucks it's everybody everybody basically has a full load and goes and then the train waits till it's i believe it's over half um if it wants to load come on okay so it does a full load or something like that the last train that left the uh station was like a half load or over half a load uh and then i also dropped in the big boy uh train station it is the end of line train station plus it's got the um the metro station underneath. This is a vanilla piece, and you can now find those. Let's reduce the size there. You can find those under the public transport hub. So that's the bad boy right there. I only have the one track coming in, and I've got a pathway going over top. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the rest. Um, as I branch out, it's likely that I will have more stations. I was gonna. I was thinking about putting a station over here and then ripping one way over here, but uh, we'll get to that at a later time. So I want to focus on what I did today. Uh, and apart from this horrendous... Ooh, we upgraded again. That's awesome. Um, that's actually going to be a note on my thing. I will be right back. Okay, that was uh, a couple seconds there, so I wrote down the notes. Uh, so what I did was I had downloaded a bunch of uh, assets, and I don't remember who makes them, but they're all numbered. It's I think it's just how the guy made them. He was just calling them particular project numbers. Anyway, I downloaded almost all of them. There was like two that didn't uh, work for some reason, but this is the finished product. And I really hope you guys like the way this thing looks. I kind of made it as, uh, as, I know this is kind of like an oxymoron, but as organically densely packed as possible. Um, I used, uh, I used the drawable, uh, it's that roads tool that draws in uh, large parking lots and stuff like that with the decals. Uh, I also put in uh, King Leno has these little ones here. At least I'm pretty sure that's King Leno. Uh, anyway, props to him if that is him and if he's listening, I love your stuff, dude. Um, anyway, I've got a bunch of these uh, wandering around. I've got the main, the big parking lots and then I basically just kind of shoehorned everything into place, drew the streets as I was uh, building, and I basically started in this corner after I changed out the, uh, or ch changed up this, uh, uh, this uh, change about for the, for the tram tracks, because I wasn't going to keep that going. I now, I now just have the, uh, the same one here, which is the two lane avenue with bike paths. And that might change too, because this doesn't allow parking, so um, there might be areas where I have to build and it doesn't have uh, the things in the middle, like the concrete median with the bike lane, kind of like here too. Uh, and th but this actually allows us for us to put in like asymmetrical roads. We have turnout lanes and whatnot. And I did download a mod that allows us to do some pretty neat changes to the road. I haven't figured it out yet, and I have to read a couple tutorials on how to get to that. But we'll get to that in a couple uh, in a couple episodes, I think. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. This is a, a very short, talky version of the, uh, of the of the map, and I was going to put in some commercial in this area, but I think we're doing okay with noise. I don't. We're, we're not. Uh, we're not looking at too much road noise and not too much traffic. Uh, the only other things I got to get figured out here is um, getting some transit in here. I got to get. Uh, I got to get the buses running through here. I was going to do the trolley bus, but you can't have trolley lines and bike paths at the same time, so that's kind of a, uh, a killer on, on things. And then I threw this in. I didn't want traffic coming up through here, so I just put in this really fun road that this guy's not paying attention to, because you're not supposed to have 
vehicles on here. You're not supposed to be here, dude. Hmm. We'll get to that later. We're going to figure that out. Anyway, that's a very minor thing. So, but anyway, I uh, let me know what you guys think. The uh, During the recording, the amusement park did also upgrade, and I believe my park in town... Uh, in the in the middle here upgraded where to go founders garden maybe it didn't i thought it did maybe it didn't oh we're all, we're like we're like six people away ah oh, come on give us uh give us the next level oh come on four more four more four more i would love to sit here and you know waste a bunch of time watching this tick up while i drink some water oh come on there's two more <laughs> okay, so it drops and then gives me three. Okay. Come on. Oh, uh, well. Forget you. Anyway, I'm sure it'll it'll tick up when it needs to tick up. Anyway, um, anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, I, I really hope you enjoyed it. I know that uh, the guy that I named the uh, the military base or the or the di military district after was uh, was quite pleased. Uh, I saw his comment below and I talked to him at work the next day. He was pretty happy with that. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very, very much. Next episode is going to be working on the industry plus plus the amusement park and then whatever else I can think of. So thank you guys ever so much. Uh, as always, there are other content creators that do other work and some some of it's better than me, but we'll uh, we'll let that we'll let that one go. Um, don't forget to hit to hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah, leave a comment and a like down below. Thank you guys so much. See you later.